Hello everyone, my name is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, I'm here to tell you I was 51 years old before I read my first Agatha Christie book. And remember before we get started, comment down below, let me know, have you read Agatha Christie? Have you read Dame Agatha Christie? Do you um, go to her frequently? Have you never read her? I would be really interested to find out. So I did this little impromptu booktube event and a lot of my booktuber friends and subscribers really, um, you know, they went all out. So this past weekend, April 14th through the 16th, it was uh, Agatha in April. And it all started around a chit chat that I had with some people on a live. And we were talking about how I never read Agatha Christie before. And I said, you know what? I think I need to change that this year. And I did. Everyone kept telling me, everyone kept giving me recommendations. And it was for the book, And There Were None, which is a new and improved title from the original, which I shall not utter. Um, the original was modified to this copy, which is 10 Little Indians. And the title was changed for yeah, problematic reasons and, you know, uh, it should have been changed. Um, and this was lovely. I can see why so many people enjoy Agatha Christie. Her writing style is easy. You are gripped within the first few pages. Every single chapter, there is something new going on. Um, this book, the premise, there are people that are gathered, they're invited to an island uh, for um, various reasons and people of all different walks of life, they start dropping like flies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it held my attention. I enjoyed it. It was an easy read. Finished this in like two days. I have to log it in Goodreads. I didn't do that yet. I can see why people really, really enjoy her storytelling. It's light. It's not super heavy. It's not super cerebral. It's sometimes funny. Um, there were some words in here that were used. I had to ask Alexa. Um, I think plump was a verb and that had to do with voting. And then there was another one for a rain slicker. I didn't, I wasn't familiar with that. So I had to ask Alexa and that was kind of fun. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. So I'll insert here like little bits of a morning vlog that I did my first day. Um, this started last Friday, so I kind of took you along with my morning routine. So I'll insert that here. Enjoy. I'm heading into the library to pick up my first. I got the Christie. Good morning, everyone. It is 436. I don't know if you could see that. Um, just got up and I am going to make myself a cup of coffee before the gym. It is Friday and sometimes before the gym I like to do that even though I shouldn't because sometimes my stomach will get upset when I'm lifting weights. But um, it's Agatha in April, how could I not? So I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you guys are kicking off the weekend with some Agatha and I'm here just to make a little coffee for myself. Somebody's gotta go outside. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come here, silly. Come on, let's go. Hi. And what a beautiful morning it is. Look at that moon. It is gorgeous.
Okay, I'm ready to rock. Let's go. It's so good. It's just so good. Happy weekend, everyone. I get a full 40 minutes devoted to this and my coffee and Wasada still outside. So I hope you're having an awesome morning. All right, I'm on page three and people are on their way to this certain location. Hmm, what's going on? Getting sucked into a story on page three is pretty good, huh? Okay, well, reading time is over. I have to go um, put my contacts in and get my booty to the gym. And this is what crushing it looks like. So I just had breakfast and it is such a gorgeous morning out here. Um, I thought I would try and pull out some patio furniture and work outside. I'm working from home today. I have 20 minutes before I start. So I brought a chair out and my book. So I'm gonna get 20 minutes of good reading in the springtime sun. And it looks as if my dog wants to come outside too. Okay, so that was just a snippet of um, what MJ does on her mornings when she wakes up early uh, before the gym to read. Yeah, it was good. It was really, really good. So again, let's talk about Agatha. I took some notes here. Oh, let's see. So she was uh, Queen Elizabeth in 1971. Uh, 1971? I think 1971. Um, she passed in 1976, I believe. Dame. She became a dame. Dame Agatha Christie. She wrote 66 detective novels and 14 short story collections. There are booktubers on here that I am friends with that specialize in Agatha Christie. Um, she holds the Guinness World Record for selling 2 billion, 2 billion copies of her books. It's trademark that she is the queen of crime. Uh, yeah, and in 10 Little Indians, this one... Uh, they changed the island name to Indian Island. And then uh, they changed the name of the title of the book again to And Then There Were None. And they changed the name of the island to Soldier Island. So those changes were made. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was really, really good. And then last night, um, one of my favorite subscribers, Coda, and I did a buddy watch, and we watched the old-timey movie, the black and white movie for, and then there were none. Um, it was good. It was interesting to see the characters come to life. Um, it was campy. Uh, and they changed the ending. Yeah, they changed the ending. So we weren't thrilled with that, but it was, it was fun to get together and watch the movie. So it was really, really good. Um, will I read more Agatha? I did take out two for the weekend. Um, I still have the other one. I think it's called, um, they use mirrors, something like that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to read it or not. I don't, I don't know. Um, right now I may, I don't know. I may give it a try and see what, see what it's about, but I'm kind of in the mood for something different. My mood reader tendencies are rearing their evil heads and what I'm reading now is not gripping me and I really want to put it down and grab something else. I had a struggle today with it. So yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to pick up the, the next Agatha that I took out. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. Like I said, they're fun, they're easy, um, they're not super cerebral. Her writing isn't super descriptive, but 
it encapsulates the environment. It captures the feelings and the emotions. Um, it describes it quite perfectly. So that's, that's a true talent, I would say. And the story moves along at a great pace. So if you've never read Agatha Christie, 10 Little Indians or, uh, and then there were none, which is the popular, um, version, uh, highly recommend, highly recommend. Yeah. So I hit one of my goals for 2023, which was to read an Agatha Christie and it feels good. Yeah. All right, everyone. That's all I have. And I gave the sucker five stars. So, uh, make sure that you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, everyone, goodbye for now.